Hello everyone, this is Pamela and today we're going to talk about reading vocabulary. Reading vocabulary refers to the words that a student can read and understand. When students know more words, they are more able to understand what they read. There is a strong connection between understanding the meaning of words and understanding a story textbook or other reading materials so what does it mean by reading reading is defined as a cognitive process that involves decoding symbols to arrive at meaning next is reading is an active process of constructing meaning of words lastly Reading with a purpose helps the reader to direct information towards a goal and focuses their attention. So vocabulary is important for reading to learn as well as learning to read. For understanding of text, students need to be familiar with the meaning of at least 95% of words in any book or passage they read. So there are two main ways to learn new word. First is indirectly. Children learn new words indirectly through reading, listening to others, read to them, and having conversation with others. Most words that children learn are learned through indirect methods. This means that it is very important to have your students read, listen to others, read to them, and participate in conversation since these indirect methods will help to build one's vocabulary. Next is through instruction. Words through instruction at school and in any other educational settings through a combination of indirect vocabulary encounters and vocabulary instruction, children can learn the words they need to succeed as readers. So there's a question. How can we teach vocabulary through, learn, through reading? First is read alouds. Read alouds are probably the best known to the best known way to expose students to the meaning of words that are beyond their level to decode. Intentionally select words that you want to teach before reading out loud. It is okay to quickly define a word that comes up in your story that students may not understand. You could also take note of words that are implicitly taught in the text and return to them after reading. Next is associate the new with the known. You're going to, with this, you are going to point out and explore connections and relationships between new words and the words that are already used by the students in their vocabulary. For example, what is the relationship between the word car and the word vehicle? How is the word melancholy the same as the word sad? With these explorations, it can be fun and you will go a long way in giving students immediate access to the meaning of the words. Next is use new words in sentences using a new a new vocabulary words in the context of sentence will further support student in understanding the word as well as recognizing it when they hear it again in fact they use the same vocabulary word in multiple sentence fourth is create opportunities for students to see hear, read, and write the new words. Using multiple senses when introducing 
or reinforcing a new concept will facilitate effective storage in brain and efficient retrieval for use when speaking or writing. Last is encourage students to use new vocabulary words. A student truly own a word when they can effortlessly use it when they speak and write. So make it compulsory for students to use the new vocabulary word that they encountered in their reading sessions. Make it at least five times in their writing for them to vividly remember it whenever they are. So teaching students how to decode word is important in early literacy instruction, but it is not enough. They also need to receive explicit instruction in fluency, comprehension, and of course in vocabulary to become proficient readers. Vocabulary instruction has a powerful effect in all components of proficient reading. Because when vocabulary increases, learning also increases. So that's all for today. Thank you.